The San Carlos Hotel has been a landmark here in downtown Yuma for 82 years. During that time, it's gone from being a bustling hotel to what it is today, a quiet apartment complex. Out of all the landmarks in downtown Yuma, the San Carlos Hotel stands out the most. Built in 1930, it's still the tallest building in the area. A man by the name of Charles Harris built the hotel to serve as a couple's retreat. At the time, Yuma was a hot spot for lovebirds looking to tie the knot. Yuma was the wedding capital of the United States. There were about 20 wedding chapels and very few hotels. Harris, who owned and operated the luxurious Hotel San Carlos in downtown Phoenix, decided Yuma would be the perfect place for a similar hotel. He put down $300,000 for its elaborate construction. Very modern, very, uh, well, distinctive architectural details. So really, it became a wonder in Yuma to watch a five-story building go up. When it was finished, Harris named the building after its predecessor. Complete with 107 rooms, the hotel included a piano bar, lobby, and a rooftop garden. But its most valuable amenity was its air conditioning system. The San Carlos was the first hotel to offer such relief to its guests during Yuma's hot summer months. It was a well, it was cold down there, and they literally piped cool air into the rooms. They also had a wa water cooler, about a 15-foot high water cooler on the roof. During the 1940s and 50s, Yuma became a location for Hollywood films, and many movie stars chose to stay at the San Carlos while they were shooting. Movie Star Central right here. A plaque displayed in the hotel's lobby lists the famous names of those who stopped by. One is Western actor John Wayne. Wayne was filming on Yuma's notorious Prison Hill, and according to legend, after a night of drinking at the hotel's bar, Wayne got his horse from the corral and brought it inside. At the end of the evening, he, he just decided it would be a great idea to take his favorite horse into the lobby, put his horse in the elevator, and take him up to the roof garden for a view of Yuma. Another well-known guest was none other than Hollywood icon Marilyn Monroe. Rumor has it the beauty possibly spent her honeymoon and room 512. We've had some people say that she and Joe DiMaggio actually got married here, but I've, I've never been able to document that. But I do know that she enjoyed being in Yuma and visited quite often. Another story lies behind this break in the hotel's tile. A guest who had a gold bar stored in a safe behind the check-in counter requested that it be moved to the bank, but the gold bar was heavier than it looked as the bank's representatives tried to lift it. They picked up the bar, dropped it on the floor, gouged a huge hole in the concrete floor. But what seemed like a revolving door for the hotel eventually came to a close. As more businesses moved out of the downtown area, the hotel saw fewer and fewer guests. What happened is gradually people quit booking the, the, this modern building, the San Carlos, and it went into disrepair. It was vacant for many years. The hotel was eventually reopened in the 1980s. City officials created a deed to turn the hotel into a living headquarters. It became low-income housing. It still is today. There are covenants on this deed that says it has to stay low-income housing for at least 50 years. And though it's not certain if the hotel will ever become the popular resort it once was, its existence is somewhat guaranteed. I think it's here to stay, though. It's built really to withstand everything that Yuma has to, to give it. If there's an earthquake or a, whatever comes along, this building is really an engineering marvel. Reporting from downtown Yuma, I'm John Archuleta.